Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about a split view option that, um, that's available in all CADs, PCB Designer, Standard, Professional and in Allegra PCB Designer. Um, and what it does is it gives you the option to kind of split the screen into two. Um, so there might be some scenarios like this one, for example, where um, what's happened is I've rooted out of a flexi. I've got my connectors and all my routes done. And I get to the other end and obviously I've got a few crossover wires and maybe I need to do some pin swaps. So now for me to kind of work out what I need to do, I might need to kind of keep moving back and forward because the swaps are actually allowable on the connector. I can't actually swap any pins on the IC. Um, so I'd spend a lot of time panning and forward and, back and backwards and forward between the two views. So um, what I can actually do is if I go to the the display view split view option, I can choose a floating window, a horizontal window or a vertical window. So I'm going to choose a horizontal window in, in this example. And then I can actually set the views up. So on this side, I want to be looking tight in on my connector. Uh, and then on this side, we'll click over here and zoom in. I want to be actually seeing the connections that I need to do. So I need to make some swaps. Obviously, I've got some wires that are crossing over here. So what I can do is I can invoke the swap command, so place swap pins. Um, now I want to swap maybe the two outer pins of the connector. So that tidies up that little crossover there. Um, and then I'm going to swap these two pins here that tidies that up connector there. Um, and then once I've complete, obviously I can then start to route. So as I start to route, uh, let's just do some very, very basic routing here just to show you that I've tidied the connections up very, very quickly. And it's, a, it's nice having this split view. You can obviously set these up for different parts of the screen as you're going along, um, which makes it easier for you to kind of work, allow, work, work about what you're trying to do, um, pin swaps and, and all sorts of things. In the Allegro space, it's really good if you're using the design planning option and maybe you've got some resequencing to do on the bundles. Um, but it's just a nice, easy way to kind of help you um, resolve your design issues.